Hey guys, Greg from Faction Fab here with a coilover focused video. We're going to get technical showing you the inside look of how the coilovers are put together and what makes them work. There's a lot of jargon used that can be hard to understand if you're shopping around. We're going to go in depth here, so buckle up. Coilovers are a term usually used to describe an adjustable coil over strut all in one assembly. The type used for most Subarus looks like this, with the spring, upper and lower mounts, adjustment locking collars all installed on a damper like this assembly here. The internals of the damper are pretty easy to understand with some basic visual aids. So here I have one of our Faction Fab dampers that has been cut open to show all the different components. We choose components that we know will perform and last through all driving situations for our customers. This starts with basic materials like Japanese tube steel and knock seals, known for their precision and quality. Inside, the coilover is filled with both hydraulic fluid and air contained in three separate areas. We choose specific oil for each of our coilover lines to suit the driving style and dynamics. The two oil sections are divided by the piston and shim stack, which is bolted to the shaft. These control a majority of the valving that is referred to by the manufacturers. With the simplified model, we can see inside the valving assembly to learn how it functions. If we were to cut away a portion of the piston, you would see that there are holes that allow the oil to pass between the two sections of the damper. These holes are also visible in our display coilover. The holes are covered by the shim stack, which is a series of thin metal sheets that go on both the top and bottom of the piston that limits the amount of oil that passes through. The shim stack is thin enough that under heavy pressure, they actually deflect away from the piston to allow faster transfer of the fluid. The top and bottom shims also separately control compression and rebound. Dampers that are one-way damping adjustable, like the Faction Fab coilovers, also have a mechanism to give you some control over this fluid transfer. Notice the small hole on the shaft before we cut more into the shaft to see the adjustment mechanism. Fluid can also transfer through the shaft, entering through the small hole on the side. Inside the shaft, there is a small needle valve that can control the fluid transfer. Twist the adjuster knob on your coilover and it will thread in or out of the shaft, raising or lowering the needle. Closing this valve will be the stiffest setting, forcing nearly all the fluid to transfer through the shim stack, while opening the, will allow the fluid to transfer easier, giving you a more comfortable ride. Moving down the damper, we see the floating piston separating the oil and air chambers. Again, using the same quality aluminum and oil seal, this keeps pressurized air in the coilover, which acts as a cushion for quick and small bumps in the road to prevent oil cavitation or bubbles in the fluid chamber. The amount of air in here is also specific to the application to go along with the valving. Now that was a lot of info, so we're gonna end this here and pick back up next time. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram or comment below. Like and subscribe to our channel if you like what you saw, and we will talk to you next time.